You know, we've been talking about how Italy, no stranger to political crises, of course, but how do you assess how bad the situation is right now? Is this just another day in Italy, or are we actually really at a brink of a crisis that brings it back to 2012? Well, despite its reputation for having somewhat tumultuous politics, Italy has had a relatively stable government over the last uh, several years, and that tradition has broken abruptly over the last couple of weeks. Uh, and so what you've seen is, on the one hand, uh, the, the populists uh, of the Five Star Movement and the Liga raising the stakes by proposing um, a, a, uh, an anti-euro finance minister. Then the president um, called their bluff and, uh, and rejected him. And so now they've, uh, they've raised the stakes yet again. So this is a crisis point unlike we've seen in Italian politics for over 20 years, I would say. So help us understand what's next. And I mean, when I talk about what's next, what's next over these next few days before we talk about longer term, a few months? Well, that's uh, you're right to separate uh, those things. I mean, the, the, in the short term, the candidate, um, Mr. Cantarelli, uh, if he can put together a cabinet, um, he would then probably be in power for the next three to four months. But thus far, he's been unable to do so. And, and it's been an extremely fluid situation, as we've seen just in the last couple of hours, uh, things changing. So it, we may have uh, elections as early as July, or we could wait until September. But early elections uh, seem to be inevitable. The only question is whether they happen in two months or whether they happen in about four months. Uh, what do you think is going to be the next move for Matteo Salvini, the league leader? I mean, is he going to be turning to the government, this government pact with the Five Star Movement here as an alliance for the next election campaign? Or, or is he going to have to need uh, the, the, the help of uh, Sil Silvio Berlusconi here uh, to kind of have more of a center-right lean towards his, his philosophy and stance now? Well, that's, a, that's the big question, because President Mattarella by uh, saying that he would not allow Italy to leave the Eurozone through the back door, has, uh, has really made the Euro and Italy's future in the EU a central point in the upcoming election campaign. And uh, th there's Salvini and the Five Star Movement are both going to want to play the victim. They're going to say the people gave them a mandate and, and the president rejected it. But uh, by the same token, um, they're going to be in a battle for each one wanting to come out on top and have control over the formation of the next government. So I think that means, uh, you know, Salvini uh, may want to rely again on Berlusconi. He's been eating Berlusconi's lunch uh, and gaining support mm -hmm. away from Berlusconi's Forza Italia. So he can feel fairly confident that he's got that situation in hand uh, and try to build out the lead that he's got in public opinion polls right now over the Five Star Movement. But it's going to be a battle between two populist uh, uh, blocks against each other again.